Hi, Elliot Recaps here. Today I am going to explain a movie called Snake Island. The film begins with a young couple spending time on an island. After swimming in the ocean, they go to a tent to make love. At some point, the inlet lock begins to open, and this frightens the girl. Grabbing a knife, the guy goes out to look around and notices a small snake. After killing her, he hears nearby monkeys hiding in the jungle. Believing that it was them, he looks inside and reassures his beloved when he suddenly disappears instantly. The frightened girl comes out of the tent to look around and does not see the guy anywhere. Believing that this is a stupid prank, she takes offense at him and promises to leave. The girl does not have time to step even a step because a huge python pounces on her, easily swallowing the slender beauty whole. Four female students spend time in the hostel, relaxing after classes. Yin Tao is obsessed with herself and her beauty. Sheng Nan spends all her free time training. Xiao eats everything that is crooked, and Li is embarrassed by his appearance. Liu returns from the university soon Xiao Jing and informs them that they need to prepare a group assignment for their graduation theses. The girl has the necessary materials, but animal samples and photographs are also required. She offers to combine business with pleasure and go on a short weekend trip. Only Yin Tao has money and connections, so her friends persuade her to call a rich guy who can organize leisure. A couple of days later, a group of students go on a trip to a remote island. On the yacht, everyone is busy with their own business. Xiao continues to eat everything, which displeases Liu. Dunyang, rather wealthy Yao Jin Hu, courting the beautiful Yin Tao. Noticing the adorable Li in a bathing suit, Xiong Yishan shows attention to the girl, but she is more interested in the modest and shy Fu Xiaowei. Meanwhile, the captain of the ship notices something strange in the water, but does not pay attention. Soon the group arrives on the island. The boatswain and the captain promise to return for them in three days. Students go for a walk around the island to get comfortable. At some point, Yao Jin Hu throws away the empty can, but Fu immediately picks it up so as not to litter in the wild. Liu Xiaoqing is inspired by the guy's action and takes a photo of him. Meanwhile, the captain of the ship and the bosun do not sail away, having decided to linger a little on the island. The men are hunting snakes when suddenly one of them suddenly disappears. The captain notices the missing bosun, but does not have time to panic as he gets attacked by a huge python. Ever hungry Xiao climbed onto Xiong's neck Yishan to pick wild fruit. At some point, the couple falls and rolls down the hill. Looking around, they scream in horror as they were in the middle of a cemetery. Yao Jinku is comforting his friends when he suddenly notices a strange man. At first, everyone takes him for a ghost, but it turns out that this is a local resident and their guide. Here, students notice a snake and are very frightened. Liu Dunyan, unlike the others, is ready for the wild and taking out a knife, sends the reptile to the next world. Lao Wang is dissatisfied with the guy's act, since nature is majestic and it is forbidden to harm it. Moreover, the old man is sure that all creatures in the world are smart, and they should not be hurt and suffering. Our saving Lao Wang leads the students to a two-story house where they will live all this time. The boys occupy the rooms on the first floor, and the girls go upstairs. A little later, students go to the river and jump from a stone enjoying the rest and beautiful nature. In the evening upon returning to Liu's house, Xiao Jing looks at the photos and admires Fu Xiaowei. Sheng Nan does sports, but Xiao invites her to the fire to join the others. Gathered by the fire, students tell each other scary stories, when suddenly Yao returns from the jungle Jin Hu, who caught a goat and threw it into the fire. Nobody appreciated the guy's act, as everyone was very scared. Almost everyone goes into the house, only Li and Xiong Yishan stayed to talk. The guy turns on romantic music and tries to confess his feelings. The girl treats the guy's words with distrust, but he promises to prove the power of love and says that he is ready for anything for her. At some point, they hear a noise, and seeing a creature trying to attack them, they run away. Lao Wang is nearby and is shooting. Liu Dunyan and the others heard this and ran outside to find out what had happened. As it turned out, a crocodile attacked the couple, but Lao Wang stopped him in time with an accurate shot to the head. A little later, 
The old man goes to the fire to put out the fire and collect the garbage left by the students. Liu Xiaojing helps Lao Wang because she loves and protects nature. She recognizes her majesty and does not want to harm the environment. The old man warns the girl to be careful as the area is dangerous. He believes that they came here in vain, but nothing can be changed. At night, Li and Xiong Yishan meet to spend time together. A small snake crawls into Yin Tao's room, and the girl is frightened, starting to scream. Liu was the first to run into her room. Xiao Jing Yi started scaring away the reptile with a mop. The snake attacked the girl and bit her leg. Soon the others arrived as well. Upon learning of the bite, Yao Jin Hu assumed that the snake was venomous and began sucking the venom out of the girl's leg. Liu Dunyan tracked down the snake and realizing that it was not dangerous, reported it on his return to the room. Yin Tao saw how the guy was caring towards her friend and made a scandal. In the morning, Yin Tao decides to leave the island and asks to call the captain, but there is no connection. Because of the storm and thunderstorm, she disappeared. Lao Wang offers to go and check the tower, but he needs help to do so. Fu Xiaowei is tech-savvy, so he decides to go along with the old man. Also joining them are Liu Xiaojing and Liu Dunyan. Arriving in an abandoned city, the group splits up. Liu Dunyan continues to mock the animals when he suddenly notices a snake. He is not afraid, but takes out a knife and begins to pursue her. At some point, the guy wanders into the cave and finds huge eggs. Trying to understand what is inside, he breaks one of them and takes out a snake that is not yet hatched. Here, a huge python appears, which sees what is happening and wants to punish the bastard who did this to his child. Seeing the python and the body of the bosun lying nearby, frightened Liu Dunyan tries to escape. Fighting off the python with a knife, the guy stumbles on a tree with his stomach and severely injures himself. Saving his life, he climbs a tree and a reptile creeps past. At the most inopportune moment, a drop of the guy's blood drips onto the python's head, and he finds him. Liu Dunyan tries to crawl up the tree but realizes that it is useless. Once trapped, he jumps down, but the python catches him on the fly and swallows him whole. Lao Wang returns to Fu Xiaowei and Liu Xiaojing to report that communication could not be restored, as part of the equipment was completely out of order. The trio go back to the house and find out that Liu Dunyan did not return home. Realizing that something might have happened to him, the group goes into the jungle in search of him. Soon they find a bloody knife and realize that someone attacked the missing guy. After continuing their search, a group of students and an old man find a cave full of huge eggs. They realize that these are not crocodile eggs and decide to leave here. Yao Jin Hu is not afraid of anything and, determined to prove it, destroys several eggs. At the same time, one of the guys notices the body of the bosun and realizes that it is dangerous here. Lao Wang realizes that this is the home of the python and they are in big trouble. Just at that moment, the huge serpent returns home. Seeing what they've done, he spits out Liu's body. The students run away and the python starts chasing them. Students are divided into small groups. Yin Tao and Yao the Jin Hu meet a crocodile by chance and try to run away from it as well. Meanwhile, Xiong Yishan and Li try to cross the river. At some point, they realize that they cannot move and begin to go underwater. A third group of students with an old man notice them and realize that the couple is in swampy mud and they need to stay still or they will be pulled to the bottom. Fu Xiaowei, Sheng Nan, and Liu. The Xiao Jing find a long stick and try to help the couple. Soon, Yaos accidentally fall into the swamp. Jin Hu and Yin Tao, who were running away from the crocodile. They come close, so they are quickly pulled out, unlike the second pair. Xiong Yishan and Li can't reach the stick. They are attacked by a crocodile but attacked by a python to protect the students and then deal with them on their own. Xiong Yishan realizes that they are easy prey and sacrificing himself, pushes Li out of the swamp, after which he goes to the bottom. There is no time to be sad, so the group runs home. Frightened Yao Jin Hu closes the door, but Sheng Nan breaks the window and climbs in to let the others in and lock herself in the house. Having fought off the attack of the python, the students close the doors and windows with improvised means. Noticing that Xiao Xiao is delayed, 
They go outside and see how the python swallows the girl. Students understand that it's Yao's fault Jin Hu and fight with the guy. He punches Yin Tao in the face and then tries to strangle Shang. Only the old man who put a rifle to the back of his head manages to calm the guy. Upon learning that there is a boat in an abandoned house and key to it hangs on the wall, Yao Jin Hu takes the rifle from his grandfather and unlocks door to escape. Li runs out first and becomes easy prey for the waiting opponents of the python. The old man decides to sacrifice himself and holds the door on his own, helping the students escape. The python sees the defenseless Lao Wang and looks him straight in the eyes, after which he continues to pursue the people who broke the eggs. On the way to the abandoned house, Yin Tao falls into a cliff, having managed to grab a vine at the last moment. Yao Jin Hu does not help the girl and runs away, because his own life is more precious to him. Sheng Nan and Liu Xiaoqing helps her friend get out, but she gets immediately eaten by a python. The four of friends unite in an abandoned house and hide from a python. Once he crawls away, they decide to find fuel and trap him to burn them. Things don't go according to plan as the reptile attacks the friends from above. Nevertheless, the girls manage to bring the boat down on him and delay him for a bit. At some point, the students gets trapped, but Lao Wang comes to the rescue, plunging a metal rod into the python's head. The old man is mortally wounded, and the huge serpent is beside himself with rage because of the wound. He hits Yao with his tail several times. Jin Hu, after which he eats the offender of his children. Lao Wang uses the last of his strength to drive out the surviving students. As soon as they leave the building, the old man sets fire to the lighter and throws it into the spilled fuel. Sacrificing himself, Lao Wang saves Liu Xiaojing, Fu Xiaofei, and Sheng Nan. Sometime later, the trio go to the beach and realize that they are no longer in danger. Unfamiliar to them, the python actually survived and returned to its cave to see its babies hatch. Thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and like the video. See you soon.